Hey everyone, it's the Drive to School podcast. I'm actually driving and I'm actually Pastor Goodman. I'm the content executive with Higher Things and Pastor Richard is here today. Actually, Pastor Richard, how are you? I'm doing okay. Good to see you, Harrison. It's good to see you too, my friend. How you been? Well, you know, I should be in my pickup. We'll give you uh, both driving in our my Ford pickup like and your, your Tundra, all right? Your Toyota, yeah, we'll right? As long as we're not going to get all like wars over domestics and all this stuff next week, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot maybe. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. No, I'm doing right. good. I was just mentioning earlier, we had confirmation meeting last night and getting all the confirmants ready to go for this year. So we start in a couple of weeks and uh, off and running. So it's good. Yeah, man, everything's spinning up. It's great. Uh, my, my kids are sort of settling into a bit of a routine and and all of the the, the frustrations are starting to, to at least normalize and, and the excitement, it's dying down. It, it's good. It's kind of time to dive in and learn. So uh, we get to sit down then and say, you know, we, we answer, what does Jesus say about? Well, you answer and I listen and ask questions along the way. Uh, but it, it's especially in this day and age, um, a, a question of sort of the, the idea of, of spirituality, it's important, but is that is that everything? Uh, Pastor, what does Jesus to say about spirituality yeah you know i think when we think about spirituality at least when i think about spirituality uh I, i'm drawn back to when i was a child and, and thinking about christianity and spirituality and i used to think you know about dying a lot as a kid and and uh, pondering it. and to be honest with you i was like man to be in heaven with jesus just sounds kind of lame and i and, and the reason why i said that because i thought okay I don't want to be some uh, ethereal spirit, right? Some wispy, you know, like, so Matt Richard is now this wispy little cloud of vapor and, and his little vapor is bouncing on clouds of, you know, with Charmin toilet paper. And, and then there's, <laughs> and then these harps and then all of a sudden there's yeah, a spirit. I just kind of, I kind of go through the harp and bring, and, and, and it's just like, yay. And it's like, I just sounded absolutely miserable. And uh, I think oftentimes that's what people think of when they think of spirituality, they think just the ethereal uh, spiritualized puffs and, 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 you know, things that are not tangible. Well, what does Jesus say about that? Uh, now, is there definitely a spiritual side to us as human beings? Absolutely. Uh, there's definitely spiritual, but he also looks at the body, material things, and it's important to him. Uh, you know, we look at our Jesus, our Jesus, he bleeds, uh, he dies, he eats, uh, he, he walks, um, in the text for this Sunday here uh, at uh, St. Paul's, it's about uh, this man who can't hear and talk. Jesus, he puts his fingers in the man's ears, you know, pops them in his ears, and he spits on his tongue. And so our Jesus, he he uh, puts mud into people's eyes. I mean, so he muds and he spits and he bleeds and he dies and he walks and he suffers and he rises. So bodies matter to Jesus, um, that there's definitely a spiritual side to us as human beings, but there's definitely a tangibleness that, that, that we're, we're human bodies and bodies matter. There's a material side to us as well. And that, that matters. Um, you you kind of mentioned like as a kid, you you were sort of not in a hurry to leave the creation. I actually, I can relate to that. When I, I was first brought into the faith, you know, they, they talked to me about salvation. I was like, man, I, I hope Jesus doesn't come back soon. I still want to get married first. I, I want to, there's a lot of stuff I got to do before this. Uh, I, and it's good that I'll get there eventually. Um, I also know people, I, I, I minister now uh, to people who are at the end of their life and they just, they can't wait to get out of here. Uh, they, they look around and they see nothing but awfulness, suffering, pain in this world. And they say, there's nothing that, that God would have to do with a creation like this. I just got to get out of here and go to heaven. Uh, even in society today, we have uh, uh, people who, who love the idea of sort of uh, religion or, 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 or a deity or a higher power, but not one that would actually sort of impose uh, morality or ethics on this creation. And so it, it's my body and I want to I want to do the things that I want with it. And, and every last one of those gets undone by a God who is incarnate, who becomes flesh um it, it's it's actually an, an old old heresy though uh we were talking about the fancy word for it remind me what it is yeah it's it's a it's a real fan it's kind of fun to say it's called gnosticism but it's actually has a g so the g is silent so gnostic right <laughs> it's gnosticism the g is silent and gnosticism is basically this is this idea of that you have material and you have spiritual right side by side and we would say that, uh, yeah, we're, we're body and soul. That's what makes us alive. And so um, Matt Richard and Harrison, we're alive. We have body and soul. And then when death happens, there's what? There's a separation, right? There's a separation of body and soul. And so we have a funeral tomorrow here at St. Paul's. And and the body will, you know, we have the body, right? But there's no, the, the soul's with, with Jesus in paradise. And then at the great eschaton, I love that word, the eschaton, the great end, uh, body and soul come back together again, like Humpty Dumpty being put back together again. And, uh, what's, what's that? 
It's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, it, it's good for us to be together. But here's Gnosticism. Gnosticism uh, takes the the body and the soul and takes the soul and in, in the spiritual realm and raises it above. And this, you know what? This body doesn't matter, right? It's just like a shell. It doesn't matter. It's off to the side. And so it elevates this and it takes the material realm and it de-emphasizes it. It's, it's, it is what it is. And unfortunately, we can go around life and we can treat material things that way as if they're unimportant as if it's like a shell like we're um like a crab that has to escape that shell and the shell could just be discarded i've heard that before too at, at funerals where it's like oh it's just the shell i'm like no it's not the shell it's the human body is created in created in christ jesus that body will be resurrected it's important um but then we can take the material realm and shove it off the side and just live in the spiritual uh, ethereal realm and 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 it's, it's disconnected from reality. Reality is, is, is who we are in Christ spiritually, but it's also who we are materially as well. It's both. It's not either or. Right. And a religion that's dis disconnected from reality, it's not actually going to help with anything that you're struggling with. It happens to be real. It's just sort of think about nice thoughts and then don't worry. And then one day you'll die and go to a place where you also just think nice thoughts and don't worry. But that doesn't address the real suffering that we have now, the guilt, the shame, the, the death, the despair, all the stuff that's wrong with this creation. God is far away from it. And that's not true. Yeah. Well, and then the other thing though too is we can we can we can go the opposite realm, which is we we reject the spiritual realm, the soul, and all that, and we're just material. We're just like blobs of cell, and that's all that there is. And you know, I'm just this collection of of DNA and cells, and I just move and have my being in this time of being, and then tomorrow I die, and then there's nothing else. And then that's my goodness, that's depressing. That's what we call nihilism. I mean, that's that's depressing beyond belief. And so Christianity. Uh, doesn't go to the extremes, uh, realizes that we're body and soul together. And, and we see this with Christ. I mean, Christ comes and he puts on human flesh um, and he eats and he walks and he suffers and he bleeds and he dies. He comes to his creation. He comes to us right into our midst, right with us and walks the walk and talks the talk. And then at the very end of the day, he rises from the dead. And it's the same with us. Right. And that, that's for us. That that means that, that we're not alone down here to sort of just sort of revel in, in this is all there is. And we're not sort of alone down here to try and escape it and get up to God, but rather it, the, the, the Jesus who takes on flesh and walks up to the man uh, and, and puts his finger in his ear. It, it's, it's to heal. Uh, it, it's Jesus physically taking upon himself um, all of the frustrations and, and pains of this man and carrying them all the way to Golgotha where he'll die on the cross. And like you said, rise from the dead. Uh, the, the idea that, that, uh, spirituality is, is sort of a, a, a chance to have religion without any of the hooks. Um, it sounds nice until you actually need something. Um, but we have a God who, who shows up in the flesh to deliver. Yeah. Well, and I, and I would just, you know, for, for um, those watching as, as well as the youth that uh, were pondering this, um, you can usually see Gnosticism, the spirituality stuff when, when it's disconnected from reality, when it's, when it's embedded in, in nice theories, like coffee mug slogans. I think coffee mug slogans are the worst. It's like, it's just these, these, these vacuous and empty statements, like keep the faith or, you know, uh, you know, believe, right. And it's just, just these, these really empty statements that really don't, I guess you would say the rubber doesn't meet the road. And Christianity meets the road. I mean, there, there, there's a connection between the, the reality of what truth is, and it actually uh, hits the road in Christ, and it's it's tangible. It works. It's right here. It's 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 in his body and blood given and shed for you. It's in our baptisms, in those puffs of air that that pastor speaks, and it goes into your ears, that word uh, for you, because Christ was, uh, as you mentioned, incarnate. He lived and he died, and he is with us uh, through his word and sacraments. And it's going to matter for the funeral that you have tomorrow, too. There, there's people there sad because this creation matters so much that when somebody's not here anymore, it's, it's sad. And, and the answer that, that Jesus has isn't something like some puffy slogan like this puffy soul floating in a puffy cloud with a non uh, nondescript harp, believe. It's Christ is risen. Yeah. And, and that's something that we can physically hang on to in, in our actual baptism. Yeah, our, our, our bodies are going to be renewed someday. Um, same bodies, but 2.0. I'm Matt Richard 2.0. I'm looking forward to the six-pack abs. And uh, no no glasses, no back pain. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to get this 2.0 body. Um, and then all creation is going to be given back to us. Renewed, perfect. Uh, God giving us uh, these gifts back. So where I'm not going to be some ethereal, puffy, mist, you know, bouncing off a of Charmin toilet paper, uh, whisking through harps uh, mounted on clouds. Uh, that just sounds miserable. No, it's going to be this body. 
and I'll see you, you know, my brother, and we will see each other and, and we'll giggle like little children because it's like he, Christ did it. You know, we're resurrected, no more sin, no more death, no more pain. Uh, we'll have these actual physical bodies and, and, and given everything back to us uh, by our Lord Jesus Christ. And so bodies matter, material matters. Um, and, and uh, I guess we need to be aware of this Gnostic uh, kind of puffy, floaty ideology that's just not connected where it doesn't hit the road, where the rubber doesn't hit the road. Right, because when the rubber hits the road, that, that's where there's hope. That's actually where God yeah. delivers life. And, and so it's not just an imposition of, of, of a morality, but it's a rescue from our inability to keep it. We, we, yeah. we cling to this, uh, this, this concrete, this tangible, this, this incarnate Jesus because he saves. Yeah, and I, I've, told, I've told confirmation students and other people that this Christianity, it's real. It works. I mean, I'm not trying to be what they call a big pragmatist, right? This big fancy word. But no, it works. It's real. I mean, our son of God, he bled and he died. He, he was here on this earth for us and he actually rose. And so when we look at our graves, guess what? Those graves are our sleeping places and we will rise from them again someday. I mean, it, it, it's tangible. It's real. This is real stuff. And this is real hope. Lord Jesus. Pastor, thanks so much for joining us. Good to see you, Harrison. Have a good one.